Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> And you, you, Missy, are you gonna eat your food? Are you gonna eat your food? There's Tiki, outside. Do you see her? Don't step on her food bowl. <laughs> yeah, Teak. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you this. This is our lovely fireplace and mantle. <laughs> and then over here is a shelf that my dad put in temporarily because this project has been a year in the making and I finally gave my dad and Tim a deadline. October 1st, this needs to be done. So, as you guys can see, a lot of work needs to happen, but I wanted to show you guys so you can see the before and the after. So what I wanna do is wood columns on the sides, some tile in the middle, lowering the mantle a little bit because it's kind of high and then doing a hearth using these tiles there's still plastic on them but these are uh, marble tiles and that is what's happening over there and then over here i want to do a built-in so you guys can see it's really high up there and i want to do shelves and then i want a little cabinet that i can store some stuff in there as well i think i'm ready to have my living room back and having just like a space that i can decorate because i love decorating and halloween is my favorite holiday and that is why i must have this mantle done by october 1st so i can decorate <laughs> what do you think benson what do you think about that You gonna unlock the door? Let's take a rest. While I am showing you guys things that need to be done in the house, let me just take you through. This room is the guest room. Obviously, the bed is a disaster zone, but there's nothing on the walls. Nothing on the walls. There needs to be stuff on the walls, so I'm gonna hang this picture um, somewhere in here, because it kind of matches. And then here's a photo of Tim and I. Oh, well there's Teak. And then this photo is our engagement photos that we had taken when we got married. It's a huge like poster size, and I don't know what to do with it. I love this photo, it's really pretty, but I don't know what to do with this photo. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Then I have this mirror and it really doesn't go with much because it's like a mint green. And then guys, last thing I wanted to show you in our laundry room, look at how cute. I got this cute rug for the laundry room because Tiki's box is in here. <laughs> so I thought, you know, any excuse for like cat paraphernalia. And then this tile, is the same tile we're gonna be using on our hearth, on our fireplace. So we have it in the laundry room and I also have it in the guest bath. So you guys can see, it's really pretty, it's shiny. Um, and it really it looks nice when you clean it. So it hasn't been cleaned in a while. But yeah, this is the guest bathroom. Where's my son? There he is! Ah -ha -ha. Hey you! Hey, you sweet bug. What were you doing? Did you unlock the door? No. No. Hey, do you want to show everyone where the new flowers we repotted are? Where's the flowers that we put new dirt in? Remember that? Where is it? Can, we sh can you show everybody? Good boy. There it is. We repotted a... Um, yellow rose bush that I got for Easter from my father-in-law and his wife. So I repotted it and I'm really hoping that it comes back. So far it's looking kind of barren. <laughs> we will see. Good afternoon everyone. I hope you all are having a fabulous day. I showed you guys a little bit of what I did this morning. Um, I fed Benson some breakfast and I had breakfast as well and I wanted to share with you guys um, everything that I'm eating today. So I am going to start with my breakfast and I did not record it because um, I was busy dealing with my child. <laughs> but here is basically what I made this morning. I've been kind of hooked on avocado toast. 
So I used this sourdough bread. I toasted the sourdough bread in the toaster oven and then I took half of an avocado and I spread it evenly on top of the toast and then I sprinkled it with my absolute new favorite, the everything but the bagel seasoning. So guys, I was so resistant um, with the <laughs> everything but the bagel seasoning mix. I just, well, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was like that great and everybody was like pretty much buying this stuff off the shelves of Trader Joe's like we could not keep it in stock so of course I'm just like okay this is like way overhyped people are just crazy <laughs> then I tried it and I'm like um yeah I better get another bottle so I bought another bottle last night at work I am gonna go ahead and get started with my lunch I just had a good workout I showered and Benson's asleep he's taking a nap so I'm gonna make a little Mediterranean taco I don't know that probably isn't the right word for it but I'm gonna use the Mediterranean flatbread some hummus cucumber and tomato I'm trying to think and a little feta on top so I'll show you show you guys what it looks like while I make it okay guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly whip up this lunch and I'll just chat with you guys while I'm doing it and I did want to say um, I am gonna be doing my zucchini recipe for dinner tonight so Hang tight till the end, or you guys can move forward if you want that recipe. Um, but yeah, so here's my lunch. I have one Persian cucumber that I like to slit in half, like this, whoops, like this. And then I just dice it pretty thin. And then I like to, so I probably most likely am gonna have leftovers and I like to use one of the um, Middle Eastern flatbreads for this taco and then whatever leftover I have, I just pretty much like make a little salad out of it. So I get more out of my lunch than just that. Less carbs though too. So next I'm cutting a an heirloom tomato and I don't know, I'm just gonna try to dice it thinly because I'm gonna be, these are basically gonna be all going into a taco. So I just cut it in quarters. Okay, tomato's good. And then I'm gonna do some red onion. This is pretty much exactly how I make my, um, my favorite salad. I use cucumber, tomato, onion, Feta. I do use olives, but I'm not putting olives in this today because I ran out. So, all right, a thinly sliced onion, and then I'm gonna just dice this up. Red onion seriously makes this, you guys. If you um, want to re-attempt this, do not leave out the red onion. That's the flavor. That's really where you get a lot of the um, just like really good depth of flavor with the red onion. So don't skip that step. Okay, moving to the flatbread. So I just take my flatbread. I got this Mediterranean hummus, but it is literally almost gone. I'm just gonna have to scrape the sides, but it's just gonna be my base. Just gonna spread some of this on here. Okay, that's probably good. I just did a thin base just down the middle there. The next thing I'm gonna do, is start layering. So I think I'm gonna start with my onion just because it's the smallest. I'm doing some onion on the bottom. Some cucumber. Tomato. Mmm, this looks so good already. So far, so yum. And then I'm going to add some feta. Just a little bit. Got my cheese, so my cheese is on here now. And then I have some pre-chopped romaine lettuce. And I was gonna put a little on this. I'm going to. I wasn't going to, then I was, and I wasn't, now I am. So, just a little lettuce on top. I really love crunchy everything. Crunchy food is good, unless it's not supposed to be crunchy. Like when you bite into scrambled eggs and you get like a piece of the shell. Ew, that is not good. Okay, <laughs> last step is gonna be just to add this Greek feta dressing, just a little light drizzle. I don't want it to be like oozing out or anything, so just enough to flavor the veggies. 
and voila looks pretty good i cannot wait to bite into this and eat my lunch i think i'm gonna just go ahead and eat right now but i'm gonna sit down eat lunch and then i'm gonna go ahead and prepare my dinner for tonight early so that way when Tim gets home, I can just throw it in the oven because the zucchini recipe is literally the easiest thing you can ever make and it's delicious. It, it actually tastes like, well, Tim says it tastes like mini pizzas and it's on zucchini. So really you can't get much healthier if you leave out one main ingredient. I'm not gonna tell you guys yet. So <laughs> you'll see when I make it, it's literally the easiest recipe I probably have ever made and it, it's so dang good and healthy so it's all a win and Benson likes it too he eats it so I am one happy mommy <laughs> alright guys so I am gonna go ahead and grab some of the ingredients that I need to get started with the zucchini recipe and I'm also gonna be doing the um, baby potatoes the mixed baby potatoes I'm gonna be doing a recipe with those two and it's literally almost identical to the zucchini so I thought I would just do it all together since I need mostly all the same ingredients from that. So I need oregano, garlic powder, pepper, salt. What else do I need? I need basil. Whoa, basil. And parsley? Yeah, parsley. So these are the Rainbow Jim's <clears throat> Fingerling Potatoes that I got at Trader Joe's. And these take a little bit longer to make than the zucchini, so I'm gonna start on these first. Just gonna throw them in here, rinse them with some water, and then cut them in half. All right, so potatoes are done. I'm just gonna cut these in half. Um, yes, just cutting them in half. I was trying to think if I really wanted to do that, but yes, I do. And then maybe like the extra large ones, like this guy, I'm gonna cut in thirds. Okay, mm -hmm. now that I got all the potatoes cut in half or thirds, I am gonna get a big bowl and mm -hmm. I'm just tossing everything together. What is it, baby? Actually, scratch that, I need to preheat the oven. While that's preheating, I'm gonna get going with the rest of this recipe. So I'm throwing all of the potatoes into this mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna just throw in everything that goes on top of these potatoes and I'm literally gonna be putting this onto a baking sheet and then baking it for, what does it say, 25 to 30 minutes. Thanks, honey. Great job. Two tablespoons of olive oil for three pounds. Well, this is only a pound and a half, so I'm gonna do one tablespoon. And if you guys have watched me for a while, you know I don't really measure, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. All right, that should be good. And then five cloves of garlic minced. I need to do that still. I chopped up three cloves of garlic, so I'm just gonna put it in with the olive oil and potatoes. And I kind of like moved around the potatoes in here so the olive oil kind of coated them all. So the garlic's in there. Now for the rest of the ingredients, which are all these dry spices. Um, so the first thing it is, is one teaspoon of thyme. I don't have thyme, so I ain't got time for that. <laughs> um, dried oregano. So it says half a teaspoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it and just shake it in there. You wanna put some basil in here? Here, sprinkle it in. Half a teaspoon of basil, go on. Whoa, all right, that's good. That was a lot. <laughs> all right, honey. So it says a third cup of Parmesan. I'm just gonna, again, eyeball this. I need Parmesan for my other recipe too, so I need to just maybe do half and half, so I think that's good. So Parmesan, salt, and pepper. Just do a little salt, a little pepper. Mmm. Mm. What do you think? Does it look good? You see that? Ooh, this smells good. You such a good huh? boy. What? We already did the spices, honey. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is just line a sheet pan. Gosh. I like parchment paper just because it is non-stick and then there's not much mess to clean up. I obviously have to still wash the pan. 
but um, it's just so much easier. Now that I have this line, I'm gonna just dump these directly onto the parchment paper, onto the baking sheet. Oh my gosh, if you guys could smell this, whoo, it smells amazing. Does that smell good, babe? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Woo wee. <laughs> All right, now that that's done, I'm popping them in the oven again, 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna set that timer once I put them in, and then I'm gonna get my zucchini ready. All right, guys, so now I have the potatoes in the oven, and I'm gonna go ahead and start on my zucchini. So I'm just gonna take my zucchinis and cut the tops and the bottoms off. And then I'm just gonna do, I don't know, not too thin, but definitely not too thick slices of zucchini. So probably, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. They're about that thick. I don't know if you guys can tell. That thick. And then I'm just gonna lay the zucchini down on my baking sheet and I just put parchment paper down on this one too. I'm only doing zoo two zucchinis because this is a full pan now. So I am just gonna set these aside and I'll probably make something else with these, um, throw them in pasta or something, that's always good. But now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna start with the mixture. So this mix is literally almost identical and i'm just gonna mix it directly into my parmesan tub because why not you don't have to waste another bowl so you're gonna start off with some parmesan and then the rest of it is going to be dried thyme which again i don't have i need to buy that stuff um half a teaspoon of dried oregano the key is that these are all dried and that is for good reason because this is supposed to be like a dry mix that you're sprinkling on top and this is again a half teaspoon of dried oregano. Okay, done. The next thing is dried basil, half a teaspoon. Okay, quarter of a teaspoon garlic, and then I just I like to do a pretty good amount of pepper, and then just a light shake of salt because of course this Parmesan cheese has salt in it, so. I don't need too much, but it is a lot of zucchini, so we want it to give it a little bit of flavor. All right, so that's it for the mix, guys. Now for the fun part, which is to dress these zucchinis. Drizzle some olive oil on top, and I'm just gonna use my finger. If you guys have like a fancy brush to like brush them out, then by all means. Just making sure that all the olive oil is evenly coated on each and every zucchini. Now I get to sprinkle a little bit of this mixture on each and every one. And I do like a good amount because I really want to like have good coverage on these because this is what gives it all the flavor and it is delicious. Now that I've done sprinkling all of that goodness on top of the zucchinis, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven. It's supposed to be at 350 but I already have potatoes in there at 400, um, so I'm just gonna do a little less time. They might get a little brown or whatever, but I have 11 minutes and it says 15 at 350, and then you broil it. So I think I'll be okay if I pop it in right now. All right, guys, so the potatoes have been in for a little longer than 25 minutes. This is what they look like, the zucchini's down there. I think I'm gonna pull out the potatoes since they're ready. how good those look and then I'm going to move this to the top because this needs to go on broil for about two minutes so while that's broiling I am going to be putting the potatoes back into that bowl that I initially used to like mix everything together and then we're adding some butter to it and then I'm adding some fresh basil it does call for fresh um, parsley but I don't have parsley so I'm gonna do fresh basil and yeah, just mix it together and then that's ready to go and it's still gonna be really hot because my zucchini only has two minutes to go and then I can plate everything and show you guys and hopefully it all tastes as delicious as it did last time. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start doing that right now. All right, so here's what it looks like and I wanted to also say another great thing about the parchment paper is that I literally just lifted it up off of the pan and just dumped them in. So easy and there's like essentially no cleanup at all. So now I'm just gonna cut two tablespoons of butter and I'm just, again, eyeballing it and then throwing it in here. I'm just gonna toss it up until it's all melted and then do the diced um, chopped basil that I already did too. I'm just gonna throw that in there too. And then these are done. As soon as I mix these together, 
We are ready for the zucchini. If only you guys could smell this. It literally smells so amazingly good. And that fresh basil really gives it like a pop of color, which I love. Mmm, yummy. So the zucchini just came out. It looks so delicious. I cannot wait to plate this and sit down and eat dinner with the family. But I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Of course, you could add chicken or whatever you want to add to it, but this is my dinner. This is what I eat, is just veggies on the side, and it is so satisfying. Veggies are actually very, very filling, so people that think they're not, they really are. They fill you up so well. Um, but yeah, I, oh, and I wanted to let you guys know that I finally got an Instagram, so if you guys have Instagram and you're curious, um, I'm still getting into the swing of it because I've only posted maybe like 10 things on there so far, but um, it is my name, Katie Hespi, just like my channel, and yeah, you guys can check it out, follow me, and I am going to be doing that face mask that I bought in a previous haul. I'm actually going to be do doing that in an Instagram video, so if you guys want to see that, I highly recommend you follow me. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to do that, probably in the next couple days though, so keep your eyes out for that. And yeah, I'm gonna sit down with my family, and enjoy this dinner. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you all so, so much. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.